for quite a while I've been talking about lesser magic in the programming and how superficial people repeat superficial things, superficial people recognize superficial things, which is to say, not much at all. Um, and they definitely don't dance back in time and compare and contrast things, because heaven forbid, that would be research. That would require, you know, critical thinking skills, which are in short supply these days. So, you've probably seen these two parallels. Facebook symbol and Masonic symbol. Let's see if it does it or not. It might. Yeah. Roughly enough. You heard of Tublacane or all that crap? You see what I see? <clears throat> now, you can, you can consider this a spurious correlation, and yet it, it was prominent in the programming. But you'd have to dance back to, not 1983, but shortly after 1983. But then again, it's all connected to, I believe, when it was rolled out in 1983. You see what I see? And it may change when we click on YouTube because... Oh, yep, that's what I thought. Hold on. Diana lives to see another day. Because our masters are doing away with attention spans and most people won't fight for things. It's well and truly dusted. There we go. This is V. You know, the show about reptoids, lizard people, shit like that. Do you see a very similar sigil there for the quote-unquote visitors? <clears throat> better than that what you're looking at is the four winds and when you see the facebook shit remember that's also a uh, life log life log was supposedly disbanded but actually it was rolled out on the same day facebook launched because facebook is a profiling app or fill in the blank <laughs> it's a program where you profile yourself so you know our masters don't have to spend the time and energy doing it and each one of us, for the most part, bought into it. And we're too stupid to think about it before we signed up and did that. And all they've done ever since Facebook was rolled out is ratchet things down because the goal is control. Uh, the mile marker for that in terms of uh, me participating in that horse shit is when they said you have to have a separate application for Messenger. Otherwise, you can't access your messages. Because we need something else for you to consent to so that we can monitor every single fucking thing you say on here. That's the only reason they did that. <clears throat> what was I going to say? Here we go. Swastika. This is what you are looking at. Keep in mind, this is a corruption of an older sigil. It's turned 45 degrees. It's... Numerous things. The colors are different, blah, 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 blah. And the orientation is typically thought to be different from what the original was. And it's important to understand these things. But again, most people don't research. They confuse research with entertainment. And if you look closely, <laughs> this is how our masters conduct themselves in terms of lesser magic. Whether we're talking about sigils or other subjects, the same thing applies. They'll knock off a leg. They'll turn it 45 degrees. Or they'll they'll invert it. Again, same difference. Or, and keep in mind, both of these are oriented the same way. If you look into other jazz, you will see uh, it mirrored, so to speak. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing our masters will do is they will corrupt things. Is Satan a man? Is Satan a woman? It's interesting that it brought up a detailed description when you think in terms of Mother Earth, but what the fuck do I know? Here's a superficial Google search related to bargain bin Quora crap. And this is what you'll usually see come up. Take a screenshot if you want to read it, because I'm going to move on. <clears throat> the only thing that you probably should take away from this is it does highlight the big G. That's relevant. It's mini splintered, mind you. I'm trying to think of how else I should put it. Because part of what you also have to think about, because we're talking about the four winds, we're talking about that turnstile in the night sky. Um, <clears throat> SS. What letters of the alphabet look like SS? You got an N and you got a Z. All of these are relevant in terms of the angles. You should think of those. 
<clears throat> you should also think of, again, the Facebook F. Facebook F. In terms of the alphabet, you know, A, B, C, one, two, three, motherfucker. If I say simplify them, <laughs> that's how you simplify it. A is one, B is two, so on and so forth. Some people can't do that. It, it baffles them. So, F would be six. Six, draw it on a piece of paper. And then draw a big G. Then draw another six. Then draw another big G. And for shits and giggles, draw another six. But if you're going to do that, you should probably also draw a nine, because we are talking about the big G and the little G, and only one comes up, typically speaking, because you're not supposed to understand this shit. 69 has to do with electricity. 96 has to do with magnetism. You will not find that in a book. You're not going to find that online. People you know, like, and love will not know these things, and they will not teach you, because they do not know shit. Why does 69 and 96 factor into this? And why does it represent electricity and magnetism, respectively speaking? If you guys thought about it, most people probably... Well, then again, most people wouldn't think about it. So most people probably couldn't answer that question if I left it on the internet and expected somebody to respond. <clears throat> I ask questions all the goddamn time and people click like and or just... I saw the video. I didn't participate. I suck at following instructions. It's unfortunate. And things like that would also keep you up at night because you and I are surrounded by bottom of the barrel, bargain bin, <laughs> fill in the fucking blank. People are below average and they do not mean well. They're just looking for sensational shit to repeat to pretend that they're smarter than they truly are. And the reason that 69 and 96 represent those things that are rattled off is they denote a spiraling motion. And I just taught you something for free on the internet. You're welcome. It's a point of frustration being surrounded by people who are fucking you and I up. This is old Paul Foster case jazz. It's pretty pithy to say the very least. But yeah, we talked about that. Again, you're not going to find these answers in books. That's something you could pick up, but he doesn't teach you these things. What I can teach you, because this is all based on Seminar 4, which has to do with lunar and solar cults. It has to do with sigil branding. And a bunch of other shit. Pardon me, I've got a bagel creature in my mouth. You can kind of see this still. Give me a second. Do you see the sigil for power? Oh, and I got... <laughs> eggs on my thumb. Once again. Do you see the sigil for power? This is how our masters work. They are fucking laughing at us. But, as always, what the fuck do I know and imagine what I can teach you. Did you learn something in this video? Well, did you, motherfucker? Being that Seminar 4 discusses sigil branding, uh, here's an example to chew on. I live in Portland, Oregon. Portland Trailblazers symbol. Our masters are laughing at us. Do you see what it's called to begin with? Yeah? And what the fuck do you see there? This is one of many. This has been echoed again and again and again and again because it reflects reality in a big fucking way. And you don't hear about this in 3, 6, and 9 posts. You don't hear about this in fucking Vortex Math posts associated with Marco Roden. Look up his daughter's name. He's not a good dude. He's not working towards free energy. It's not on the docket. You don't hear these things in, you know, the N-E-Y-E-N circles, Nyan the Nyan sequence circles, kids do not know what the fuck they are talking about. You ever heard of this? Bill and Ted, 69. I'll leave you with that. 69, dudes. If you guys are really us, what number are we thinking of? 69, dudes!